Ancient hunter-gatherers had a wider variety of plants incorporated into their diet than previously thought. Greetings everyone! In today's video, we will be delving into a fascinating study that challenges the long-held notion that ancient hunter-gatherers relied heavily on meat consumption. Instead, compelling evidence has emerged courtesy of an international research team indicating a strong preference for plants among individuals who lived 15,000 years ago in Morocco. Through the use of various isotopic analyses, this study reveals a significant plant component in their diet, which predates the advent of agriculture in the region. This intriguing discovery not only sheds light on earlier weaning practices, but also raises intriguing questions about the development of agriculture in North Africa during the Holocene. Without any further delay, let us dive right into our discussion. The ancient dietary practices of individuals linked to the ibero marusian culture discovered in the Tafaralt cave in Morocco have been thoroughly investigated by a team of international scientists from the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology, Geoscience et Environnement Toulouse, and the Institut National des Sciences de l'Archéologie et du Patrimoine. Through an extensive analysis that included dental enamel zinc and strontium isotope testing, collagen carbon, nitrogen, and sulfur analysis, as well as amino acid examination of human and faunal remains, the researchers have uncovered fascinating and unexpected findings. The primary findings of the study clearly indicate that the hunter-gatherer's diet consisted of a significant portion of Mediterranean plant species, which predates the introduction of agriculture in the region by several millennia. This conclusion is supported by the discovery of archaeobotanical remains at the site, including acorns, pine nuts and wild pulses. Additionally, the study proposes that plant-based foods were incorporated into the diets of infants and potentially served as weaning products for this particular human population. These findings have important implications, challenging the prevailing belief that pre-agricultural hunter-gatherer societies heavily relied on animal protein and raising questions about the absence of agricultural development in North Africa during the early Holocene period. Zineb Mubtahij, the study's lead author, explains that these findings not only shed light on the dietary practices of pre-agricultural human groups, but also emphasize the complexity of subsistence strategies across different regions. Gaining an understanding of these patterns is crucial for unraveling the broader narrative of human evolution. In addition, this research marks a groundbreaking milestone as it is the initial study to employ zinc isotopes that are conserved in enamel for the purpose of ascertaining the dietary habits of ancient communities in Africa. The exploration of human evolution and the dispersion of modern humans heavily relies on investigations conducted in North Africa. The availability of a method that enables us to delve into the depths of time and examine the diets of individuals in this region will yield invaluable knowledge regarding human dietary trends and adaptability across various environments. In their future endeavors, the research team aims to expand their exploration of Paleolithic sites in North Africa and employ innovative methods to further comprehend the ancient dietary practices and their significance in the context of human evolution. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.